All right, we're back for more Sherlock Holmes. Resume. We are here at the uh, with the uh, dead, with the quite dead, I must say. He looks kind of dead. Um, or tortured to death. A bishop of Knightsbridge. And we managed to get into this room and do a little chess puzzle. And now we're going to go into the bishop's safe to see what it was that he was tortured for. But that they didn't get, probably. Okay, what are we doing now? Oh! Is it one of these puzzles? Um... Now I can open the chest. Ah, it was where you want them to be, you know, the, you want you want them to light up every diag every square, but they can't be on the same diagonal, the same column, or the same row. <gasps> Here we are. I am eager to discover what remarkable treasure could justify such an act of barbarity. Extraordinary. This chest is impenetrable. How is it possible? No one other than the bishop should be able to open it. You open the chest with disconcerting ease, Holmes. I've seen and heard quite enough. This time you won't stop me. Catch him, Watson. What the? But why? Run, Watson. Hurry. Okay. He's escaped. I hope that your motivations are founded, Holmes. I don't much like skirting around the edges of the law like this. It is annoying. Let's leave without delay. What have you found in the chest, Holmes? What in there is so precious for these men to commit such terrible acts? The Reverend was telling the truth. Nothing important was locked inside the chest, apart from a few religious items which are hardly worth stealing. So, we haven't made any headway. Perhaps the police will. By the time the police arrive, we shall be a long way from here, Watson. We are leaving. Okay. Are you sure? I mean, there must still be a reason they did all this. Wait. No, I thought that maybe these would give other answers. I don't know. I don't think so. What should we do next? Let us return to Baker's. Okay. We'll go back to Baker Street then. Ta-da! We have crossed London at a breakneck speed. We could have knocked someone over, and naturally I had to pay the cabbie out of my own pocket. Watson, stop complaining. We have to analyze the clues found at the bishop's house. <laughs> Watson, stop complaining. Ooh, out auto save. I haven't even realized that is here somewhere. Okay, cool. Analyze the clues. All right. Uh. What clues do we have? Oh, okay. Let's do that one. Ooh. I can't do that. No. Um, brush. I can't do that. No. Black and damp earth under the nail. Interesting. Tooth marks. Rather deep ones. I'd say of incisors and a canine. Fragments of skin. A phalanx. This finger wasn't cut off. It was ripped off. How nice. Tooth marks. Rather deep ones. Yes. No, I can't do that. Okay. Next? I haven't finished my analysis. Oh. oh, okay. I can see something. Okay. Um, how do I look at it better?
How do I look at it? Holmes, what do I do? No, I can't do that. Okay. Okay, analyze the clues. Yeah, yeah. No, I can't do that. Okay. Is there anything else I can touch here? No, I can't. Oh. Bite marks on this severed finger. I am afraid of the significance. The thieves didn't get what they wanted. When they were faced with the bishop's refusal to cooperate, one of the gang shook his finger at him to indicate that he was responsible for his unfortunate state. And the poor man, whose head was the only part of him not bound by ropes, bit the finger violently enough to sever it. An uncommonly savage act. Watson, I am certain that when we have explained the reasons behind this sudden bestiality, we will have revealed a larger part of the mystery. Okay. No, I can't do that. Oh. There is something written on this scalpel. I should clean it. No, I can't do th Oh. Brush? Ah, I can make out WCCH. What do the initials stand for? How many hospitals are there in the Whitechapel area, Watson? If we count public dispensaries, enough to keep us busy for an entire month. Did this scalpel come from a hospital? Yes, as the initials WCCH engraved upon it show us. We must think on how best to deal with this. We do not have the time to investigate every hospital in Whitechapel. Okay. I have cut a small piece off the rope. That should be enough. A lot of fragments of black stone are wedged into this rope. Their color seems unnatural, but they are too small for me to examine them. Black and damp earth. This rope is only worn on one side. This rope is... I must... Whoops. Sorry. This fragment of stone is very smooth, and it seems to be of a peculiar quality. I shall have to strip it with one of my products. This stone appears to be the same as those found within the rope's fibers. This stone is granite, covered in black paint. The fragments found in the rope and this piece of granite come from the same place. I must compare the samples of earth that I found. And if I mixed this earth with another substance... No, I can't do that. Now it must all be stirred. Brush? No, I can't do that. Nope. Scalpel? Yes. The samples of earth taken from beneath the fingernail and from the ropes originate from the same place. How do you know? It took just a little water to analyze the consistency. The soil has retained its moisture, even though there hasn't been rain in London for over a week. This soil could come from the bank of a river, or somewhere where the evaporation is slower. A mine, perhaps, or a trench. The banks of the Thames are clay soil, unlike our samples, so we can rule that out. The nearest mines are a dozen miles away, so I would rule that out also. I would therefore conclude your last theory to be nearer the mark. A trench? A pit. Watson, bring me your register of the London hospitals. Studying the scalpel has given you an idea, then? Indeed. I'll get it. Oh, okay, Watson. Run. Wait, what are we, where are we running to? Oh, here, here, we're running to here. We're walking. Maybe? No, they report to show Holmes affair. Oh, okay, let's read. The Marquess fake necklace. At the moment of writing these lines, the famous Samoan necklace belonging to the Marquess of Cunningham has still not been recovered. Our editorial staff remain reserved as to the role that the famous detective Sherlock Holmes has played in the affair. For this is not the first time that Mr. Holmes has compromised himself during the course of one of his so-called investigations. I'm recalling the second stain case, the affair is indeed strangely similar to the Marquess of Cunningham's necklace misfortune. Indeed, Mr. Trelawney Hope, Secretary of State for European Affairs, had a document of extreme value in a safe box which had been stolen but a few days earlier. Who, if not Sherlock Holmes, could have replaced the document in Mr. Hope's safe? Was that the... what was the point of the trick? 
It was evident that Sherlock Holmes knew the identity of the person blackmailing the gentleman's wife, Lady Hilda Trelawney Hope, guilty of a love affair with another man. The sinister blackmailer, a certain Lucas, had a letter that revealed Lady Trelawney Hope's double life. He wanted to the Secretary of State's wife to give him the precious document belonging to her husband in exchange for the love letter. She obeyed him. But then Lucas was found murdered and Mr. Holmes managed to find the compromising letter without any difficulty on the crime scene after it had been meticulously searched by the police. Does that not strike you as strange? Mr. Holmes knew where the hiding place was without any doubt. As to the motive for the murder, no need to ask who might profit from the crime. Eradicate a cumbersome accomplice and thus appear as a hero in the eyes of the authorities. How do you even have, like, energy in the day to, like, make this stuff up? I don't know. Evidently, the transcription of the affair undertaken by Mr. Holmes's friend, Dr. Watson, gives another explanation entirely. But is he truly objective? We may allow ourselves a little doubt on that score. Yes, Mr. Farley, have fun. Paper, Holmes. Why? Okay, what are we looking for? Holmes, help me. Have you found your book? Oh. Oh, my book. Oh. Ron Watson. The harpoon that was used to kill Black Peter. A horrible murder. Wait, is this after the other game? Well, actually, Black Peter is, is a real home story, so... Yeah, his letters here. And this is how my dear friend and colleague treats his client's letters. Hospitals and dispensaries in London. I have found my book, Holmes. Good. Uh, put it on the work table, will you? Nope. General practitioner? That won't be of any use to me. Female anatomy? Hmm. I should put this book somewhere else. <laughs> ah! Stop it. Okay, Holmes. Why does Watson have all your stuff? Here is the section showing Whitechapel. I made several notations on these pages during our investigation into the Ripper, which might prove useful. All we need to do is to find a hospital or a public dispensary near a location where pits have been dug and black granite has been used. It's simplicity itself. I haven't finished my analysis. Oh. Oh yeah, actually Jack the Ripper is probably also... Isn't that also a Holmes game? I need something. Oh. Oh. Ha ha! To analyze the evidence, add liquid from the test tube. Use all active regions to work out something. To work out all of his characteristics. Rotate. Oh. Okay. Wait. Okay, one blue, two green, one brown, yeah. Uh... No. Yeah, okay. No. There we go. Okay, now I'm getting it. No! Okay, there. Three brown, two silver. A lot of controls here. <laughs> Three silver to brown. Whoops. Two green, one blue. Two green, one blue. Two green, one blue. No. Here we go. Three brown, three green. No. Poison, and apparently very virulent. Results of the analysis of the poison administered to the Bishop of Knightsbridge, a substance that provokes a heightened aggression close to madness, death by cardiac arrest. 
That means the heart stops, right? I think so. Poison. Discreet, efficient, and only detectable via a thorough post-mortem. Have you been able to isolate the active components, Holmes? Not with any certainty. This toxic substance surpasses my own knowledge in the field. It is without doubt the work of an expert chemist. A chemist and a criminal. As you say, please find my monograph on poisoners of the last 30 years. <laughs> okay. All right, Watson. 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 Oh, no. No. Holmes's monograph. Oh, here we go. File number 452, Hans Schiel Schielmann, a.k.a. the Rat Killer. Source, Scotland Yard. Hans Schielmann, a.k.a. Rat Killer. Nationality, German. Date and place of birth. Um, 20th January 1839 in Stuttgart. Arrested 5th of May 1888 in London. Where imprisoned? London. Sentence, life. Found guilty of the following charges. Poisoning, attempted poisoning, theft and receiving chemical substances, murder and attempted murder, kidnapping with aggravated circumstances, cruelty to animals, hit and run, illegal use of chemicals, manipulation of the weak, drunken charge. History and description of the individual. Despite numerous mental problems and neuroses, Hans Schielmann is an exceptional chemist and an equally remarkable mathematician. At the age of 21, his unstable and violent character resulted in his expulsion from the University of Vienna, where he had excelled in his chosen subjects. After being expelled, he was not heard of again for four years. He was captured and arrested in June 1864 during the case number X2552A, the Stuttgart poisoning in which he was the principal suspect. He escaped before being sentenced and vanished again. A number of elements suggested that he had found refuge in London. An investigation undertaken by Scotland Yard found him living under the stolen identity of one Leonardo Itizia. Leonardo Itizia. Uh, however, the officers who came to arrest him were poisoned and he escaped once again. Our informers picked up his trail again in 1880 at an ancient factory converted into a clandestine chemical laboratory. Schielmann, uh, was absent during the search from the documents found inside the laboratory. We learned he had a diabolical plan in mind. His goal was to poison the drinking water reservoirs in several parts of the city. To this day, his motives remain unclear. His arrest on 5th of May 1888 was due entirely to chance. He was recognized by a police officer while stumbling around in a state of ine inebriation, shouting at off his intention to poison the entire city. Good job. None of the interrogations following his arrest have provided any conclusive information. Hans Schielmann broke his silence only with incoherent comments. Okay. Here you go. Wait, what? Oh, maybe I should talk to him. Okay. According to these documents, Hans Schielmann, known as the Rat Killer, was considered the greatest specialist in chemical poison in the world. Is he at liberty? Happily, no. He has been held in the high security wing of London's Westgate prison for many years now. Then he cannot be the one who concocted the poison. Don't dismiss him too quickly, Watson. According to Scotland Yard, the man is exceptionally intelligent. For the greatest criminals, prison is but a mere obstacle. Let's plan a little visit to see Mr. Shieldman tomorrow. I haven't finished my analysis. Oh my god, you're never finished, dude. I haven't finished. No, I don't want to talk to- No. No. No, Watson. I don't want to give you my attention. Okay. Investigation to the Whitechapel Dispensary. The rope is worn only on one side. The rope was manufactured with a worn side, of course. The rope was always used from the same side. The rope was used near water and it had has rotted. Always used from the same side. Damp earth brought in by the Bishop of Knightsbridge's killers. The soil is from a pit, from a well, from a riverbank. It's from a pit. Ropes. Rope used for tra tra tying up boats. The rope, rope was used in a well. The rope is used to lower something into a pit. The fragment of granite painted black. The fragment comes from a monument painted black. The fragment is from a painted rock. The fragment comes from a granite wall painted black. The earth and a fragment of granite wall came from come from a building. 
The earth and the stone come from a pit near a monument. Earth and a fragment of granite come from a cave. Let's see, from a building. The earth, the rope, and the fragment of granite come from a grave. Uh, come from a building and they go in repairs. They come from a tombstone factory. A building going repairs. Whitechapel Clinic. The Whitechapel Clinic is near a tombstone factory. The Whitechapel Clinic is near a construction site. It's near a grave. Construction site, I would say. I haven't finished my analysis. Why? Was I wrong? Am I wrong somewhere? Wait, what? What's this? Oh! Near a memorial, near the cemetery, near the tombstone factory, warehouses, granite quarry, large repair site. I am missing some information. I am missing some information. Really? Did I do something wrong? No. Uh, make the right deductions based on the facts you have. Uh, okay, let's say it came from a monument instead. I am missing some information. Are you really? No, I think this makes more sense. I'm building. Near a construction site. Building undergoing repairs. Okay. Um... So, what am I missing? Uh-huh. Yes. I am missing some information. I haven't finished my analysis. Yes, you keep telling me that. I haven't finished. Yes. That is fun, isn't it? Okay. So what? Something is wrong? From a well? I am missing some info. Oh my god, dude. No, it's from a pit, okay? It's used to lower something. Why is anything wrong here? What? What? The fragment of granite painted black. I think it's from a granite wall painted black. I don't know what else it would be. Like, why would it be from a painted random rock? A monument also seems weird. The rope is always... Okay, fine. Water is rotten from a well. Are you happy now? Came from a cave. I don't know. I am missing some information. <sighs> oh my gosh. No, I... 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 I, <laughs> I seriously believe in all of these things that I have thought of. I haven't finished my analysis. Yes, you keep saying that. This is just this dude. <sighs> okay. No, it must be something here. But what? Something must be wrong. But that also seems weird, because... We... like... This is exactly what Holmes has been saying, I don't understand. <sighs> a 
Okay, this, I don't know if it's true, but like... I am missing some information. I am missing some information. I am missing s Oh, you are just so serious. What is it that you have managed to miss? I don't I don't understand. Make the right deductions based on the facts you have. Yeah, yeah, pretty sure I've done that. Pretty sure I've done that. <laughs> Always use from the same side. So it's from a pit. The fabric goes from a granite wall painted black. The earth and the fragment of granite come from a building. From a pit near a monument. Okay, fine. It's a pit near a monument. Okay, fine. Okay, it's a tombstone factory. Are you happy now? I am missing some information. Oh my god, it says warehouses. I thought it said something else. Okay, because this is the only one that has a pit. Okay, fine. It has a pit. Okay. So which one of these has a pit? Okay, a grave. It's a grave. I am missing some information. I am missing some... What? <clears throat> okay, fine. It's a monument. Now I can make the right decision. Okay, fine. It all turned green. Because I didn't see it. It, saw it. it said pit at some point point there otherwise I would have done that. Okay. Okay. That's not right. The public dispensary number 4661. It's just opposite the Whitechapel Street Cemetery. Yes, Watson. The murderer with the missing finger must work in the cemetery, or at least visit it. He could have taken a rope, one of the type they use to lower the coffins into the graves. The granite is minute particles of tombstone. And he only had to cross the road to steal a scalpel from the dispensary opposite. Cool. What do we do now? Let us look at our deduction board, Watson. Oh. Okay. I want to do that. The flask contains a poison that causes madness. Finger. The bishop tore his aggressor's finger off with his teeth. The bishop wanted to kill himself. The bishop fought his aggressor savagely. The bishop went mad. He fought his aggressor savagely. The murderer had a poison that causes madness. Bishop's murders are lunatics. The bishop's murders are vampires. No, they're not. It's a poison that causes madness. Okay, fine. He went mad. Perfect. Well done, Watson. Our board is finished. It confirms that the bishop's murderers work for one person, who, amongst other things, possesses a very sophisticated poison. They therefore act for someone more educated than themselves. You remember Wiggins and his gang? The Baker Street Irregulars? Yes, yes. the street urchins, whom you employ upon occasion. <laughs> and Wiggins is their leader. I love yes. them. Well, I have hired their services again. I have instructed them to find out the address of the bishop's nephew. I think he's here. Hello, Mr. Holmes. Wiggins, my young friend, have you found what? the information for which the good Dr. Watson is going to pay you? Yes, Mr. Holmes, it was easy. Very well, I understand. Here are a few pennies. Thanks, Dr. Watson. The man you're looking for lives near Kensington. Does he live alone? Yes, but he rents a room for an old lady. Did she see you? No, nah, Mr. Holmes. No one saw me. Perfect. Watson, give our young friend another shilling as a reward for his discretion. Here we go again. But of course. <laughs> I don't know why Holmes does that. I'm falling asleep, Holmes. 
Aren't you tired? No, I have an exceptional constitution. I can't remember ever having been fatigued by work. Idleness, on the other hand, exhausts me completely. Go to bed, Watson. The night will be short. We leave at dawn. Whee! Wow, this is a real adventure. It's exciting. I like it better than made-up stories. I want to know what happens next. Keep reading. I'm going to. Oh, I want to listen to. My readers must excuse me if I do not describe in full detail here the terrible images which haunted me that night. I had a sense that something extraordinary would take place, but I was scarcely prepared for the reality of it. The next day at dawn. Good morning, Holmes. Did you get any rest? I did not attempt to sleep. Have you managed to come to any conclusions? I think that we might follow three trails. We can visit Whitechapel to try to discover the identity of the murderers by making inquiries at Dispensary 4661 and at the Whitechapel Street Cemetery. The poison trail seems more important to me. We should perhaps go to Westgate Prison first to see Hans Shield. Yes. And let us not forget the Bishop's irascible nephew, whose address we now have, thanks to my Baker Street Irregulars. I have located each place on our map of London. Holmes, let me remind you that we still have not been officially instructed to investigate this affair. Ah, well, we will just have to hide that small detail. <laughs> okay. Well, we're... Oh, they have the exact same bread as yesterday. Does Mrs. Hudson not come in and take the dishes away? Interesting. <gasps> Where is Toby? I miss my Toby. <laughs> okay. That's it for today. <laughs> well, it does actually auto say what I don't really need to say, but I'm going to save anyways. Wee. Okay. So, on next episode, we'll see what we do first. We're going to go to all three places, obviously, but we get to choose the order. So that's going to be cool. Uh, but anyways, thank you all very much for watching. Hope you're enjoying the game, and I'll see ya.